She sighed to herself as she observed the portals once more. For every time we turned right, there is an alternate version of us that turned left. Or perhaps we should be considered the alternate versions of them. Who's to say? All we know for certain is that their path lies before them, as ours does before us. As it always is, always was, and always will be. Seems silly to fret over the little things, doesn't it? When the paths have been predetermined from the start. Steve shook his head. He didn't find much comfort in that idea. Forgive me, ma'am, but I'm afraid I just don't buy that. Not for a minute. By what, Captain? This. Predetermination. Fate. Destiny. Whatever you want to call it. I may not have the same level of awareness as you about how reality works, but I've spent my life fighting for the idea that people should have the freedom to make their own choices. What you're suggesting is that free will is just an illusion of some sort. That it's all been set from the beginning. I'm sorry but I refuse to believe that anyone has to accept slavery of any sort, whether it's to tyrants, to governments, or to destiny itself. Free will has to enter into it somewhere. Her smile widened. But it does, Captain. She gestured towards the portals behind her. The paths are all predetermined, but which path we take is for us to choose. She clapped her hands together, and the portals collapsed into each other in a flash of golden sparks, leaving one lone remaining window. She turned to face Steve once more. So, which path will you choose, Captain? Steve surveyed the images of various realities shifting in the window before him. Each image lasted for a few seconds, then another one would replace it. Then one image appeared that stopped him dead in his tracks. There in front of him was himself. A version of himself, slow dancing with someone. The face of the woman was obscured by his alternate self's shoulder, but Steve didn't need to see her to know immediately who she was. Peggy, he whispered. The Ancient One walked next to Steve and observed the window for herself. Well now, what a lovely moment that would be.